Hi there Aquarius, thanks so much for tuning in. I'm Astro Girl and this is Humphrey B. Bear who's an Aquarius and we're just going to give you your star cast for the week and it's really all about you Aquarius. This is a week when there is a super moon in your sign, a new moon. Now super moons and moons have come very close to the surface of the earth and in your sign it's just going to make you feel that much surer about something, that much more complete and that much more energized and ready to take on whatever it is the universe is sending your way. The next day, however, Wednesday, Mercury, the planet of communication and clear thinking, goes out of phase for three weeks in your sign through February 11. And as you know from past experience, Murphy's law of whatever can go wrong will go wrong is in full effect when Mercury is retrograde. This is not a time for you to start anything new. It's a time for you to rethink, reschedule, reboot, rehash, restart, but not until February 11. Do not buy a car, a computer, a phone, you know, the iPhone 6 came out while Mercury was retrograde last year and they've had a lot of problems with it. It really is important that you just let things be and pick them up where they left off later on, you know, in mid-February. Now, the supermoon, as I said, is in your typical uh, Aquarius coolness and calm rational atmosphere making it a great time for you to bring innovative ideas to a group situation. So if you are at work and someone wants to, you know, have a spokesperson for a great idea, that is something you can definitely do. You have that rational, calm demeanor. But whatever you do with this great idea, sit on it until Mercury moves direct because, you know, you'll, it's a great idea. You don't want someone to steal it, obviously, but you also don't want to rush ahead and do it and then be like, if only we'd waited, so-and-so wouldn't have happened. The stock market might crash or, you know, we've got all these other things going on in the rest of the world which aren't so fabulous right now, like in Paris. And I just think that this Mercury retrograde is hopefully going to calm things down and have everybody just taking a much needed uh, time out and a breath because, you know, we've started 2015 off in a, you know, already quite a few things have happened which aren't fabulous. And being that this is a, a, a hopefully a peaceful year with 2015 being an eight, you know, an infinity and hopefully a peaceful time. It's not looking that way at all. So let's really focus on not jumping to conclusions, enjoying the energy of your new moon, and not starting anything new, but keeping that new thing to yourself and looking forward to it and looking at it this time next month. Have a great week.